Hello friends, in this video we will see the main parts of internal combustion engine. Before this what is an internal combustion engine? So it is the engine in which the combustion of fuel takes place inside the engine cylinders. Hence it is called as internal combustion engine. Now let us see the main parts of internal combustion engine in this assembly. Later on we will discuss each of these part in brief. So first part is the cylinder. So this one is the cylinder. Second is the cylinder head. So this portion is the cylinder head. Third is the piston. This piston. Fourth piston rings. So you can see grooves in the piston. These are nothing but piston rings. Piston pin. Here you will see the piston pin, connecting rod, this one is the connecting rod, crank and crankshaft, you will see here crank as well as crankshaft, inlet wall and exhaust wall, so this are nothing but the inlet wall and exhaust wall, spark plug, this one, and fuel injection pump in case of compression ignition engine, here we use fuel injection pump. So now let us see all this part in brief. First is the cylinder block. So it is the part of the engine frame in which there are cylinders and in these cylinders engines are reciprocating. And it support the cylinder head and liners. Second cylinder head. So this portion is called as the cylinder head which is above the top dead center. So the function of the cylinder head is to seal the top end of the cylinder. It contain the spark plug or fuel injector and walls like inlet wall, exhaust wall etc. Next third one is the cylinder which is the part of the engine. So this one is called as the cylinder. This is cylindrical portion is called as the cylinder. So here the cylinder of IC engine may subject it to a pressure up to 70 bar and a temperature up to 2500 degree Celsius due to combustion of fuel inside the engine cylinder. Now because combustion is taking place inside the engine cylinder so these cylinders need to be cooled. So it may be air cooled in low capacity engines like scooters, bikes and it is water cooled in case of high capacity engines like cars and trucks are there. Material which is used for the construction of the cylinder is cast iron or alloy steel. In case of uh, aeroplanes and automobiles mobiles where weight is the consideration so their aluminium alloy is also used due to its low weight in case of aeroplanes where weight is the important consideration so fourth piston and piston rings so here the function of the piston is to transmit the gas force to the connecting rod and then to the crank it slide inside the engine cylinder. The material that is used for this making this piston is the cast steel or aluminium alloy. Piston is light in weight but it is durable. So here you can see there are three grooves which are made inside the piston. These grooves are nothing but the piston rings. Upper two rings are called as compression rings. The function of these rings is to transmit the heat generated from the combustion of a gas to the cylinder walls again to prevent the leakage of gas force to the crankcase is the function of the compression rings. These are nothing but upper two rings and lower ring, ring is called as the oil ring. So this oil ring is used for the lubrication purpose. Fifth, piston pin. 
so the function of the piston pin you here you can see there is a cylindrical pin so the function of the piston pin is to connect the connecting rod to the piston it is also called as gudgeon pin next is the connecting rod so the function of the connecting rod is to convert the reciprocating motion of the piston to the rotary motion of the crankshaft so it will transmit the gas force from piston to the crank shaft again if you see there are two ends of the connecting rod this small end of the connecting rod is connected to the piston through this piston pin and the bigger end of the connecting rod is connected to the crank through crank pin next is the crank pin so the function of the crank pin is to connect the bigger end of the connecting rod to the crankshaft or crank next crankshaft so you can see there is a crankshaft crankshaft is the rotary part of the engine i say engine so here reciprocating motion of the piston is converted into rotary motion of the crankshaft due to combustion of air and fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder now we get the power output at the end of the crankshaft and the crankshaft will drive the camshaft generator pumps etc crankshaft are steel forged basically and you can see there is a heavy flywheel which is mounted at the end of the crankshaft the function of the flywheel is to store the energy during the power stroke and to utilize that energy during the idle stroke so this flywheel will be mounted on this crankshaft at its end next is our wall and wall mechanisms so here you can see in engine there are two walls suction wall and exhaust wall the function of the suction wall is to draw air and fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder and the function of the exhaust wall is to eliminate or to draw out the combust gases outside the engine cylinder after the power stroke now here this suction wall is bigger than the exhaust wall because in order to suck more air and fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder next spark plug the function of the spark plug is to provide the high intensity of spark for the combustion of air and fuel mixture inside the engine cylinder in spark ignition engines or petrol engines 11th carburetor the function of the carburetor is to prepare the mixture of air and fuel and meter it before sending it to the engine according to operating condition of the engine in case of spark ignition engines next is the fuel pump so the function of the fuel injection pump is to inject the atomized fuel to the cylinder under very high pressure so it is used in case of compression ignition engines so here spark plug and carburetor are used in petrol engines and while fuel injection pump are used in diesel engines so this is all about the main parts of the internal combustion engines